We're on a fast and furious bite out here. It is wide open in West Atlantis Canyon. Captain Terry Nugent for Riptide Charters and Salty Cape. Today we're out in West Atlantis Canyon. We're about 85 or 90 miles south of Martha's Vineyard. There's been some really good fishing out here. A lot of yellowfin tuna, some mahi, some white marlin. So we decided the weather window was there. We were gonna take the big contender. We were gonna blast down here and see if we can get in on it. There weren't a whole lot of water temperature shots up until we were basically launching the boat. So we had a general idea of where we wanted to go, but just as we put the boat in the water, we got the last temperature shot of the morning. And it was about 10 miles west of where we thought we were gonna go. We got on site, we found our temperature break. It was about a four degree break over the period of maybe a mile. We're using the 40 inch and the 30 inch class bars. Also the 18 inch splasher bar is super hot today. The short rigger position was going off almost every time we get into fish. So what we've done is we've taken our flat lines, dropped them back just a hair, taken our long riggers and our shotgun and pulled them up and really tried to saturate that area maybe 50 to 60 feet behind the boat. And that's where the fish seem to want to eat for us. Fish on! Double! Doubled up! One of the things that I'm finding that's really impressive about these hoagie bars is even the 40 inch ones, which is a really large squid bar, run really delicate through the water. I can run them off my long riggers without really bending the riggers back. I, again, they're a smaller size squid, but they pull so easily. I can pull them at seven, eight knots on the long rigger. I'm not popping my clips. I'm not bending my riggers too far back. They just really run clean and smooth, which lets me put an awful lot of baits out in my spread. I can run seven, eight, nine 40 inch bars. And with that quantity of bait, even fish that aren't necessarily wanting to eat, they're gonna look up and see all those baits on the surface and they're gonna come up and eat for me. They're still staying in the spread. Bob's trying to tease them up over here. Fish on! We're finding these fish are very receptive to being teased up. When we have one fish hooked up, Normally we'd run over to the opposite rod, let's say short rigger hooks up on the right, we run to the left short rigger. Drop the reel into free spool, lock it up, crank, 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 drop it into free spool, lock it up, crank, crank, crank. And that surging motion gets the fish really excited and they usually come up and eat. Well we tried that a few times and it worked fantastic. So now what I'm doing, when the fish hits, we stab the throttle real hard, get the whole spread to come up and speed up, and then chop the throttle, the spread slows down, speed it up, Usually on the slowdown, the fish come up. They're hitting three, four other rods in the spread when we tease the boat like that. So instead of taking one or two extra fish, we're getting the entire spread of seven, eight rods to go off at once. Really, really effective. Everything's going off. Bigger fish. We stayed with the small fish and we just got wolf packed by fish this size. You know, you fight through the numbers and this is what you end up with. We're gonna put him in the box, we're gonna go get more of his friends the same size. 